Las Vegas, Nevada, the entertainment capital of the world. Over 36 million visit annually, and 2 million call Las Vegas home, all with an unquenchable thirst for water. But there is a problem. The source of that water is drying up. Las Vegas is situated in the arid Mojave Desert, but Las Vegas was first settled for its abundant water supply coming from four natural springs. The earliest explorers to come through this area stopped here specifically because of the greenery, because of the water that was here. And this is going back to the old Spanish trail, which was here in 1830. In 1844, the explorer John Fremont kept a journal describing the springs he had found in Las Vegas. These writings were published and literally put Las Vegas on the map. In 1905, the railroads came and the city of Las Vegas was born. It was the water that brought the railroad here. If we hadn't have had water, Las Vegas wouldn't have gotten created if the water hadn't been here. Hoover Dam was completed in 1935 to tame the mighty Colorado River, forming Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the United States, and bringing in more residents and tourists. Soon after, the first casino resort was built. The rapid growth of the area in the following decades quickly tapped out the natural aquifer, and ever since, Las Vegas has turned to the Colorado River for its water. Southern Nevada gets about 90% of its water from the Colorado River. Now we share that river with seven other states and the country of Mexico, and it is the single most critical water resource anywhere in the western United States. As the population of Clark County hit two million, Southern Nevada was rapidly using up its Colorado River allocation, and to make matters worse, it was in the middle of the worst drought on record. The drought is the wake-up call. So the drought, we started to watch the, the lake drop as much as a foot a week. The largest users of water are not the high-profile casino resorts, but residential landscaping. 60% of the water that we bring into this valley is what we call consumptive use. It gets evaporated somehow. Now landscaping, swimming pools, air conditioning systems evaporate water. The Southern Nevada Water Authority began a conservation program that included turf removal. And since its inception, more than 130 million square feet of lawn have been replaced, saving an estimated 7 billion gallons of water annually. Conservation alone will not solve the problem, and other water sources are being pursued. But a disturbing question lingers. Will it be enough?